Our next guest is the chief tech guy for a company that takes care of online orders and shipping for retailers like Shoe Carnival, Aeropostale, Hibbert Stores. His name is Stefan Weitz. He's with Radial, R-A-D-I-A-L, and he joins us now. Welcome, sir. Welcome to the program. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. I'm just trying to get my arms around this. You right. create and run a generic fulfillment centers. Can I put it like that? Sure. It's technology and fulfillment. So think of it. Okay. We're, we're the, uh, the second largest fulfillment provider behind Amazon for e-commerce in the U.S. And you can think of us as the company people go to if you're a, a large company like Ralph Lauren, for example, and don't want to sell on Amazon. We, we let you look like Amazon to your customers. Okay. So you create the space. You create the where. If I say warehouse, that's the wrong word. No, that's about it? right. It's, the it's fulfillment, fulfillment centers. centers. Yeah. And you've got the software and you just plug that into an operation like Ralph Ralph Lauren, like um, Estee Lauder, for example. You work with all of those people. That's right. So it's not just the warehouse. It's actually the how you take an order, how you route the order, how you take the payment from the customer, all the way through to fulfillment and even customer service. So we've got 3,500 agents that, are, that will sit there and, and answer phones and, and do chat to make sure these things work well for their customers. But you're not a publicly traded company. We're not, no. Do you own a piece of it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> how big is the company? How big do no, no, I own? No, no, no. How big is the piece? <laughs> Uh, not enough to be that interesting, actually. You're not going to tell no. me, are you? No, no. When are you no. going to do an IPO and cash out? Uh, <laughs> you are, these are hard. These, my my ex-wife's watching. I can't answer these Your questions. Ex <laughs> <laughs> You'll be back on this program, young man. Let me tell you. Uh, you got re uh, revenues of what, about a billion? About a billion dollars this year. A little over a billion dollars. That's right. That should be rising rapidly, given the business that you're in. Well, exactly. You see 14% or so this year uh, in growth for e-commerce revenues at the holiday season. We see more of our... Uh, of our merchants actually picking up their forecasts as well. So absolutely, we're in a we're in a space which is growing rapidly. It's a tough space though as well. Uh, you know, margins sure. are, are are definitely compressed and, oh, and yeah. seem, feeling pressure from Amazon's free shipping, Amazon's lowering yep. prices. So it's it's a mixed bag. A lot of uh, a lot of great tailwinds and some headwinds as well. Are you helping bricks and mortar stores stay in business? Or are you killing bricks and mortar stores? <laughs> We're absolutely helping. Actually, for in reality, we are because it's but not you just. You have to say that, I Stephen know. White. You have to say. <laughs> I'm that. a tech guy. I'm not good at all this stuff. Uh, no, the real. That's you. you uh, all you do is the technology. Uh, uh, well, so we. I. That's all you do. I'm just a tech guy. No, in reality, we have two things. We have warehouses. 25 warehouses across the nation. Okay. 7,000 employees. 20. Uh, 34,000 at peak times. So we just hired 27,000 employees. But we actually run the software as well that allows stores, brick and mortars, to to send their products from the stores directly, so not even going to a warehouse. You think about it, there are hundreds of billions of dollars in inventory sitting across all these stores across the nation. Our technology actually allows customers to buy something on a site and have that retailer ship it directly from the store or even have a customer come in and pick it up from the store, which gives them revenue that they didn't otherwise uh, I look, otherwise I, see. I'm not trying to get at yeah, you no, here, no but worries. I do yeah. want to know if in the back of your mind and the other owners of the company, is an IPO going public in the cards at some point in the future? Uh, not at this time, no. no? Nothing. No. Not it's, it, we, we, we've got, we, we just had uh, uh, great uh, owners that, that look at us and, and want us to grow quickly, but also be very cognizant of uh, the perils that come with being a public oh, traded yes. company. Oh, we know them so well. <laughs> Stefan Weitz, you are fascinating, and you'll be back if you're not careful. Great. Thanks for joining us. Thanks so. very Appreciate much. It. Yes, sir.